Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Yeah, the nine of wands here and the lover. Some of you really could be waiting on a particular lover or you're trying to figure out what's next in a connection here. Um, the nine of wands is all about, you know, being in that wounded warrior energy. It's resilience, though. It's being persistent. It's that making that final push, even though you're weak, you're worried, you're you're weary and you're tired of something here. For some of you, this has to do with love. You know, to be completely honest, for some of you, you could be in a situation where you're very, very drawn to a person or connected to them. And you're not sure exactly which direction you want to go in right now because there could be some type of third party interference. That doesn't have to be a romantic relationship that they have with someone else. But some people, they have family issues that they have to tend to. Um, you know, you could live at a distance from a person. There's just a lot of different things that are happening right now. And... You know, God is just saying you you really do need to be steadfast. You really do need to reel it in, you know, try to be as emotionally um, balanced as you possibly can be. The nine of swords is here. So with me seeing the nine and um, two nines here and the number six, which is all about balance, th there is something here that is coming to a completion. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Um, this has a lot to do with you creating some type of foundation. I feel like for some of you, you're just wanting something new. I feel like you're not really happy with where you are um, with the people that you're surrounded by. This could be in your job, just in your life. Like I said, holidays really make people reflect a lot about their overall life and, and the trajectory of things that you're doing. And so you could be in this energy right now where you may not really want to be bothered. You could be feeling a little discontent. Um bored um or like there's been some type of missed opportunity here or um you could some people you know of course you may be feeling a little bit abandoned or or rejected okay nine of swords is here there's definitely some kind of stress fear and anxiety though with the four of pentacles and the seven of pentacles some of you are really trying to think about how you want to go about building a new a future for yourself something that is going to be um very much balance that's going to give you the security and the stability that you want. I'm hearing a lot of you just saying, I don't want my next year to be like this. I feel like this year has been difficult for a lot of people, especially when it comes to friends and family. And the holidays, I think, really, and this new moon energy has you really just in this energy right now of holding back. I, I feel that a lot of you, you're holding back right now. Um, You could be feeling like you don't really know who to trust or... I also feel too like there is something that you know is coming, but it's taking a long time for it to manifest and you could be almost losing hope. But the Ace of Wands is here. Look at that. Beautiful. The Ace of Wands is here with the Empress. So for some of you, especially if it comes just to your journey, whatever your path is in life, this could be in love um, or just something your own self-love journey and healing. There's a lot of creativity and abundance coming. You're needing to make sure that you remember that you are very fertile at this time. Okay. Um, try not to focus on what did not work out because you're in the process right now of manifesting something very, very beautiful. It's just a matter of how you're choosing to look at the situation. I feel like there's been some type of unwise choice that you have made or someone in your life has made that has affected you in some type of way. Yeah. Here's a temperance. Exactly. Some of you, this is just about timing. You're you're tired of waiting on something or someone, okay? And I've been talking a lot about needing to take action at this time. Something is going to happen in divine timing. At the bottom of the deck is the sun, and here is the wheel. This is a very, very positive change. Beautiful. And here is the hierophant with the strength. The, oh, and the fool. These are all majors. So this is a major, major shift turn of events here. And there is an offer that is coming towards you, okay? So... The energy here to me, it's like you're, um, this is like the calm before the storm, but it's a really good storm that's coming. Your ships are coming in. It's like you reap what you sow. And I feel like many of you have planted really good seeds. This temperance angel is here letting you know that you're about to be free from some type of cycle here. You're going to be liberated. If you're wondering if something is going to work out for you or what the decision is, it's going to be positive. It's going to be a yes. Okay. For some of you, you do have a significant relationship that is coming into your life or coming back. And it's something that's going to be very, very strong. And it's going to possibly lead to a long term committed relationship possibly even marriage okay some of you um four of pentacles here you could be holding back from someone okay 
And I feel like someone is about to try to come in for sure and make some type of serious offer or gesture towards you. Okay, it's going to require a lot of strength, though, for you to take a leap of faith. Now, for some of you, this is a past person. For some, it's someone brand new. But what you're needing to know is that at this time, you do need to be flexible. Okay, you're going to have to put something aside. You're needing to be flexible in order to manifest what you truly, truly desire at this time. Okay, I feel that a lot of you, you've been in hermit mode. You've been isolating yourself. And Spirit is saying it's time for you to move forward. You've already done the healing that is necessary for you to be able to move to the next stage in your life. It's time now for you to move. I think that sometimes on the healing journey, we get caught up in just healing and you're constantly poking at the same wound. And it's almost like, there is something here. There is nothing more for you to learn here. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like there is an imbalance in the feminine and masculine energy where some people are very much in their feminine energy. So you're leaning a lot on your third eye, your intuition and, and how you are feeling. Okay. In this feminine energy and you're needing to shift more into a masculine energy of actually taking charge, being more earthly and grounded. Okay. You cannot live in your headspace because for some of you it's causing you to almost go back into the matrix okay this also is there's a need for you right now to also hold back a lot of your energy and to protect yourself because you are going to find yourself going around people and by you being energetically sensitive right now it's like people are going to almost make you feel like you need to conform or do something that's going against what you know you want to do. So it's like being authentic and unapologetic right now about whatever you want to do is very, very key. Let me see about this, um, this offer coming in. Yeah, so something is coming in really quick, okay? The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups. I don't know if this is one person or two. Yeah, and here are these other cards fell. The Four of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. You guys, you're resting, you're retreating, and really, it's like you've already walked away from something that's over, it's done, it's complete, and right now, it's like you're resting and retreating, and many of you, you feel like there is an issue, like there is some type of problem, and it's not. It's your body is recovering. Your body is recovering because you walked away from something that was not fulfilling for you, and you're going into a journey of connecting with your soul tribe. You're going into a time soon where you're going to celebrate and be celebrated, but something is over. Whatever type of, um, like lust for life or passion that you're desiring it's going to be coming in very soon but right now i don't think that some of you know how drastic of a change you've recently gone through or how heavy of a, a weight or burden is that you've been carrying but it's like you're being free from that but maybe you've known pain or or suffering for so long that now that you have this lighter energy you're actually exhausted you know it's sort of like when you finally take a break and you sit down and you're like wow i'm really tired your body your mind your spirit your soul it's recovering right now so so don't feel like there is no movement there's a lot happening behind the scenes okay there's a blending of, of, of energies here within you and around you and it's preparing you to join forces um, with something or someone that's going to really be beneficial to you. Yeah, the five of wands, the eight of swords, and the justice. This being in this mental entrapment here about some type of conflict, chaos, um, people competing with you, um, causing drama around you, some type of um, disharmony or disarray that's been in your environment, whether it's internally or externally, that has had you in this mental entrapment. It's like you, you're you needing to make a decision. Now, I, I will say that for some of you, you're still stuck in your head and you're you're lacking the, the strength and the courage to take a leap of faith here to start over, okay? But what you need to know is that there is a bridge here that has already been burned. And it, it seems like you're still wondering, can you walk across the bridge and you can't? It's, it's gone. Like, there's no way. But I, I feel strongly like some of you, maybe that codependency is creeping in because you're doing something new. The bridge is burned, but it's like some of you, you're looking to figure out if you can get a boat to get across. And you shouldn't. It's like you need to go on a totally different path. There's something brand new here for you. Ace of Cups. And a lot of you, this has a lot to do with the relationship. Yeah, the Six of Wands and the Death card. Yeah, this is all about starting over, page of wands. This is what this is. It's it's time to just start over. Self, Your self-love and healing, finding love in all things is what's going to bring you a lot of 
victory and success in your life. This is a time of, of deep, deep transformation, but you're needing to start over because you're carrying too many burdens. There's too much baggage and too many burdens here. Okay. You have someone from a past life. I, this could, could be someone from your past, but you have someone for sure. I feel from a past life who is trying to come in. And this could definitely be a twin flame, a high level soulmate, but this is someone here who they are coming in and they want to take action. They want to take charge. Um, they're carrying this torch. I feel like this person has gone through hell and back to light their torch just like you have. And the two of you, it's like you can really walk together on this journey where you can feel very free and liberated. This is the reason why you need to rest and retreat and allow yourself to rejuvenate right now to get back in your own body, back in your own mind. Some of you, you've been, um, unfortunately, um, you have been the victim of a lot of spell work and witchcraft and other things. And you're just now getting back into your own mind, like your own heart space. And it's almost like your body feels unfamiliar to you. Okay. Because you've had so many things around you that have been dictating to how you think and how you feel and how you move. You are needing to free yourself in order to have this incredible offer to come in towards you. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. This can also be a friend. It can be, you know, anything, but there's something coming into your life that I feel is going to for sure help you to have more passion. Um, you have another person I feel that's in the background here, this King of Pentacles with the Moon card and Page of Pentacles. Someone who kind of lingers in the background. They could have breadcrumbed you in the past. This person is watching you and they're seeing that you are mastering yourself and building something. Okay, however, this person, they're very childish. They're always in and out with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups here and the Five of Swords. This person knows that they've made an unwise choice when it comes to you, but they're very flighty. They're in and out. They're immature. Um, they may not be settled. This person they could be settled since they are the king of pentacles okay they could be older than you but they're 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 you're they're young like you and this person are not a vibrational match not spiritually anyway this person is still operating in their shadow okay so you need to focus on the new energy coming in on whatever the positive energy because the positive energy it could be someone from the past just focus on the positive whether it's old or new but there is someone who is for sure lurking in in the shadows and this person would like to come towards you they feel like perhaps you're their destiny but they've never put in the work to really be with you so your your guard is up to this person but what's coming in for you is this emperor and the ace of pentacles also this emperor energy is you stepping into that masculine energy and going after their security and their stability that you know you really really need to move into this next phase of your life. Like I said, for some of you, the truth is, is that you're going to have to kind of get out of La La Land or out of the victim consciousness. Look at what's coming out, the four of wands. It, because it's like, um, oh my God, look, <laughs> queen and king of pentacles. So for some of you, you're being prepared for your own family or home life. You also may be feeling right now too, like you're needing to deal with some issues with your own parents. With the holidays right now, some of you, you know, need to really look around and reflect on how things are. Um, I'm hearing for some too, it's time for you to leave the nest, okay? Some of you, yeah, you need to leave the nest. Oh, wow, you guys, the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is this is a life partner. This is someone that you will be with for the next 10, 30, 40, 50 years. And this is what's coming in. But a lot of you right now, you're feeling very much left out in the cold because there's a cycle here that has recently wrapped up and it, it took a lot out of you. OK, this was a cycle where you were for sure in the dark. There was a huge illusion here and I feel like it's being cleared away. And you're taking steps forward, but there's still this heartbreak and pain that's lingering. You're going to have to really, really work hard right now to release that. But I feel that you, you're you afraid of making um, a mistake. It's like spirit is leading you to your happily ever after. Wow, this is so good. So don't be confused right now about this downtime. This is a time for you to, like I said, rest, reflect rejuvenate and just know that even if it doesn't look like it something is over like something that has been a hindrance to your manifestations it really is over let's just see 
but I can definitely see how it doesn't look that way. And for some of you, you still have people who are in the background who are lingering. They're sending that evil hour, that negative energy towards you. But it's like you're recalibrating energetically. Like you can sense now that there is something happening in the background, but you also can sense that there is something very beautiful coming in for you as well. And that's what you're really needing to focus on is the fact that with the three of wands and the star being here, you're moving towards... Um, a lot of healing okay you're moving towards a, a very beautiful time in your life where you get to create everything that you want but right now you're going to really have to look at the bigger picture the three of wands is all about your ships coming in and this manifestation and then you have here the ace of pentacles and the star okay and the king of pentacles okay so for some of you you're the king of pentacles okay or you have a king of pentacles that's coming into your life but this is the ultimate wish fulfillment you have a lot of prosperity and abundance there could be a huge financial opportunity that comes in for you but your overall stability is about to change a lot and you're needing to make sure that you're working on your self-confidence now once again here <laughs> some of you have a lot of people in your energy the King of Pentacles is here, the Seven of Swords, and the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords here. There is someone here that you're putting your guard up to, whether it be male or female, someone new or someone from your past. And I feel like you should continue to do that. Someone is realizing, though, that you are achieving a lot in your life despite everything that they've put you through. Um, and I feel like people, they expected you to be mean and 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 bitter like they wanted to turn you really cold but you're not showing any type of weakness and this has someone very very shocked because once again like i said before that king of wands energy that's coming in it's the same thing repeating here with the totally different deck the three of wands the king of wands so what you have coming in is someone who's going to really take the lead at growing and expanding with you or this is just your own energy this is you being more bold and courageous more assertive and you know maybe starting a business or just taking lead even if it's in in your workplace or whatever but you also have again this really jealous envious type of energy that's in the background it could be a king of pentacles or a king of wands it doesn't matter the sign but for some of you you have a person uh, when i think about king of pentacles i think of earth sign i think of capricorn and and taurus for sure as well as virgo they're very very grounded very stable they're creatures of habit um very can, can be extremely conservative and traditional some of you you have a person and this could be a parental figure it could be anyone you have someone around you who is like trying to force you to conform okay they're they're trying to convince you that you should live your life a certain way because for a lot of you you know being honest this is a romantic person a romantic partner this person wants to avoid the responsibility of them taking charge and taking lead doing what they should do so they're trying to force you to conform to be what they want you to be and you've already outgrown this person and this is the reason why right now this person they could even be telling people that you're mean that you're jaded and that you're bitter it's because you're refusing to collaborate with this person you and this person you don't share the same goals you don't see yourself growing old with this person you want to move towards being with a person who will allow you to stay grounded and be very practical generous caring the queen of pentacles it's like you at one point you could have been like a match for this person but i don't really see you being this person's match anymore you're being the queen of pentacles in the sense of being practical and down to earth this person also with the king of pentacles if they're not in a in a good energy, this could be the type of person who's also very materialistic. They're all about money, but they also can be very stingy with money. You're wanting to go towards perhaps something that is a bit more traditional for you. Anyway, whatever you consider traditional, that's going to allow you to feel emotionally safe and grounded. There's a person that's in your energy constantly trying to get back in your good grace or something like that they don't really want you to move forward and it's because you have new love here with a king of swords person okay this king of swords king of wands person i feel is someone who is very much driven and and action oriented this is someone who is stern okay but they know what they want they could be a little bit detached, like, but they know like this is the kind of person who has a love that is undying. It's very, very real. It's true. And they are very certain about the fact that they want to have a family. You have someone out here that is putting on the facade that they want to be a family because they want to get with you. They want to stop and block you from being with the person 
who is 100% going to choose you. You have someone right now who is in the background, like I said, trying to avoid responsibility and they're lying, cheating, scheming and scamming and looking for an opportunity to come towards you, but they don't really want what you want. They don't. So you just need to be mindful of it. Don't focus on it, but just be mindful. Yeah, most likely this is someone that you've already cut a cycle out with, a Knight of Wands. There's something or there's an offer, an opportunity, or a person for some of you that's coming towards you that's going to take you to the Ten of Pentacles. So, of course, new levels, new devils. You have someone in your energy that's trying to stop you from being very passionate in your pursuit to going towards this Ten of Pentacles. Or they want to stop this person from coming towards you. You have like this this drive or this person like this king of wands king of swords type of person who is like they're going to get things done by any means necessary some of you you could be marrying into money or you could be starting a very lucrative business okay but there's a competition the five of swords here there's some type of conflict like someone here does not want to see you win because you have a choice in love okay but you're needing to see that this is your wake-up call now you have to know that you have something really good and somebody is playing a lot of mind games and trying to manipulate you at this time to make you think that you're not actually going through this rebirth and that your life isn't going through this major upgrade when in actuality it is your love life especially is changing because you already planted good seeds with the seven of pentacles here okay so your hard work is truly paying off do not be discouraged yeah ace of wands there it is ace of wands the three of cups and the high priestess is here exactly something here is hidden i would su suggest too that you keep a lot of your your business hidden but look the ace of wands will be like the number one two three something here is aligning perfectly one two three and this is all about your spiritual path and journey here everything is lining up the way that it should you're being um taken to a place now where you're tapping into a lot of secret and wisdom or, or sacred knowledge about yourself you're you're realizing who you truly are and it's allowing you now to go towards happiness friendship um family fellowship your own soul family and tribe there's new ventures here a lot of new creativity new passion but it requires you to be able to move past this nine of swords energy of being stressed out you're gonna have to step into the unknown but this is all about new energy okay and a lot of you you are very intuitive um very creative but this three of swords seven of cups energy is here the emotional pain from some type of separation or breakup it's still playing tricks on your mind so you're gonna really have to get a a, a hold on these illusions and the subconscious blockages and other things that's stopping you from really being in this creative energy because right now you're really needed to stand your ground here yeah the four of swords and the moon you got to put those illusions aside the four of swords is here is resting some of you you really need to be in solitude but make sure that you're taking action to to pray and to meditate and really really take charge in this season of preparation it's for some of you there's something huge coming but it's like you're needing to prepare yourself for it emotionally and energetically because the moon is here okay there's some type of deception also that's going to be coming to the forefront and i feel like it's going to give you exactly what you need to move forward all right it's going to help balance something out the five of wands and the ten of wands is here so something is going to escalate very quickly and you're in a situation that's going to be something hidden is coming out the five of wands to the ten of wands there's some type of tension here or argument that's going to happen a, a ego clash that you're going to have with someone but it's going to be like the straw that really breaks the camel's back and that's what you need you need for something here to finally just be over and done with and i feel like that situation is coming you're going to find out something and it's interesting that this falls on top of this king of pentacles seven of swords you're going to find out some some type of truth about all of the work that a person in your life has been putting in to try and sabotage your life and that's going to be the tower that's going to help you move right into this beautiful new life this union the new relationship new home new car new job everything is just going to be brand new but it's like here you're just waiting on some type of good news and you're going to receive it you're going to receive good news the page of pentacles and the justice this is you receiving good news some of you this is some type of legal situation there could be a um like a divorce that's being finalized or someone has done something that was unlawful towards you and you're going to get justice in this situation and it's going to really open up the the 
the doors to a lot of new abundance um this could be like i said a new job or whatever you're trying to manifest there's a blockage that's being removed it's like you know that you walked away from something but there's other things in the background that perhaps you didn't see or that you didn't know about that's about to come knocking right at your door and it's going to allow a lot of things to make more sense for you moving forward and it's going to give you the peace of mind and the clarity that you need final messages here what are the final messages wow the, see the will of fortune it says decisive moments okay so something here there's a karmic cycle that's over you know this is spirit saying okay it's time you know it's time for you to grow it's time for you to evolve and to expand you have a lot of blessings coming in wow six of swords better times are ahead okay this is you becoming more stable this is you overcoming any type of hardship this is you know the end of the the trauma the drama the conflicts and everything else some of you you know honestly here with the holidays you may have like something to happen even within your family dynamic that's going to be it could be hurtful but it's it's necessary some of you there's there's some type of tension here that has been building in a situation whether you know about it or not and it's time for you to just go ahead and like hit the red button like you're gonna have to hit the kill switch on something for it to be over and done with like for good and i feel like honestly like the the divine is coming in forcing this to happen yeah here is the um this is the knight of pentacles Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles to me is is you needing to have a plan with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. This is you moving towards something, but again with like that Temperance Sagittarius energy, doing something um, in a very taking a methodical approach to it and having a lot of how can I say this like like discipline, like having a plan. Like you're I'm seeing a, a card in my in my mind from a different day it's like your dreams need a practical plan is what i'm hearing yeah you don't need to be impulsive at this time yeah because here is the knight of cups i'm sorry the knight of swords but it's in the reverse it's like if you do something in haste if you allow yourself to get out of control here you're, you could miss an opportunity. So for some of you, there is something, and honestly, it's going to be negative, that's going to come at you quickly. And just as quickly as it comes at you and you may want to react and respond to it, you're needing to actually hold back. You're needing to really, really step into your higher self and stay there because you definitely could be moving about something trying to be very practical and methodical. And it seems like something all of a sudden is going to come running at you like someone is going to be rude they could be sarcastic you may notice that someone is just a spiritual bully that they're doing something that you just totally disagree with okay someone here has probably been stalking you watching you spying on you there, there's some type of information that's going to come to you and it's going to be delivered without any type of tact here the ten of pentacles is here and here is a ten of wands so again for some of you there's some type of family secret or something there's some something that could happen with your friends and your family but someone here went looking for some information and they found more than what they what they wanted to i just feel here that for sure some people in the next few days for sure and if it's not now it could be even during the the christmas holiday season where some of you there is some type of family secret that's going to be coming out um that is going to definitely blow the roof off of some things but like i said it needs to happen it's something here about security stability and money Okay, somebody could have hidden some type of money from you. Okay, but I also feel too, for some of you, you're going into this Ten of Pentacles. You're going into a time of being able to have your own security, stability, maybe start your own family. And that is another reason why you need to be very mindful of how you react and respond to people in your family who may come at you. These people, they want to trap you in some type of way. It doesn't have to be your family. It could be, you know, anyone, but these are people that you are around a lot. They are looking to trap you in some type of way so that you will miss out on the opportunity yeah and you definitely have an opportunity here you have the queen of cups that fell out the fool and the ace of wands okay for some of you there's an opportunity coming your way for you to be in love for sure okay 
But this is all about you being, like I said, emotionally connected, but knowing when to detach. Some of you right now, you're very, very psychic. You're very intuitive. Okay. You're a free spirit. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're a free spirit, but you are moving towards like this, like I said, a new passion for life with the Ace of Wands. It's time for you to just go for something new. And somebody here is trying to keep you on a cycle of having unrequited love. Be careful of who you listen to as well, because you can have the type of friends and family that are trying to talk you out of doing something that you're very passionate about. It's because like they just they want to control you. This is all about people controlling you, people who don't have the confidence that you have to go after certain things in life. They're always going to try to manipulate you. These are the people who are obsessed with you. They're disappointed with their lives. And so because of their own self-limiting beliefs and them being extremely pessimistic, when you go on a new path, they want to try to tell you things to stop you or to slow you down. Be very mindful of that. If you want to do anything, whether it's starting a business, going back to school, being in a relationship with someone that's not your usual type of expectation, whatever it is, go for it. Do not allow your friends and family to stop you because God knows the plan that he has for you. He did not give that plan to other people because I'm definitely seeing something here right now where you guys have people around you who are secretly jealous and envious of the fact that you're choosing a certain path in life or being chosen by a certain person and they're constantly trying to keep you in this energy of being up in arms they constantly want you to feel like something is not going to happen that there won't be any peace or or prosperity and abundance in your life and that's not true you're actually merging and coming into union with yourself as well as someone else the problem here though is that the things that you're moving into doing it doesn't support these other people you have to be careful too of people um who try to live vicariously through you they will try to live vicariously through you and when you start to make decisions for yourself that they don't agree with because they're secretly living vicariously through you their goal is to manipulate you okay these are people that are very close to you they will constantly try to tell you that you shouldn't be passionate about certain things it's because they're looking at your life trying to figure out how they can somehow like i said just live through you if somebody here is for sure trying to cause a tower moment when it comes to your home life your security your stability or you going into some type of relationship because it's not what they want but it's not their life you know what i'm saying so just be careful of that some of you you're you're around a lot of friends and family who talk a lot wow the empress card came out this could be a mother figure for some this could be your mother this could be the mother of someone that you're dealing with okay it doesn't have to be a mother it could just be a mother figure this could be a sister it could be anyone but a lot of you you're in this divine feminine energy right now where you're very magnetic you're nurturing you're kind you're you're full of all of this abundant type of energy yeah but the magician the magician card is here in the reverse so with the magician card being in the reverse here this is telling me that you have some kind of manifestation right now that is being blocked or you're needing to do more planning you're needing to be careful of what you think okay and be careful of what you share with other people because for some of you 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 share your thoughts with people who wish ill like ill on you they're they're sending the evil eye you know, and you just need to be careful because you're going into, look at this, the nine of cups and the ten of cups. You know, some of you, you have a person that wants to come back into your life and they actually do want to make things right. The seven of swords here. And you could have people in your life who are telling you, no, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. This, If this is your ultimate wish fulfillment, then you shouldn't care what these people tell you. It doesn't matter if it's your mother, your father, brother, sister, cousin. You need to live your life for yourself because I feel strongly that for some of you, you right now are trying to make things right. Um, you're admitting your own wrong, like you're being accountable for who you are, what you've done or not done. You could have a person that's coming into your life that may seem less than perfect to other people around you. And they're going to really try to talk you out of this. This is why you may be right now. The four of swords is here and the hermit. This is the problem now. You need to go with and there's nothing wrong with you isolating. It's nothing wrong with you taking a break because you're recalibrating and healing right now. You're soul searching. You're growing. God has you in a pruning season. You need to pluck those weeds out of your flower pot because you have individuals around you right now. Like I said, they can see the all of the beauty that's coming into your life, but you cannot take any shortcuts. The world is here in the reverse. So this is saying there's something here 
is disappointing or there is some type of stagnant energy. You're needing to completely wrap something up. I feel strongly that you guys, you still have a person in your energy that you're needing to go ahead and cut off and move away from because the high priestess is here with the chariot. Once again, your higher self is trying to illuminate something to you that's going to allow you to move forward. You're going to have to be more determined to move away from a situation and go towards where you know there is more success for you because something right now with the six of pentacles here it's not it's not balanced you're not being valued somewhere yeah and i see here the queen of wands and the queen of swords for some of you for some of you especially if you have a family where there are several feminine energies or if you're dealing with um a masculine is specifically a man who has several feminine energies around them you just need to be very careful of the things that people are saying about you because for some of you there's a man out here who has several different women around them and these women are giving this man a lot of really bad information he could have a sister or a few sisters a mom with the empress energy out here this person here is getting a lot of really really bad information people are trying to tell this person what they should or should not do for the sake of their family this is a lot of like status quo bs that's going on here and you're needing to move away from that you could be a woman and you could have a lot of friends or siblings or a mother figure here that's trying to tell you what you should or should not do and you're needing to have the strength right now to you know really take charge and stand up for yourself instead of having people try to tell you what to do when it comes to you choosing now to like embrace change in your life whether that's you going back to something from the past or doing something brand new it's up to you if you want to make amends with a person it shouldn't be your family or your friend's decision what you choose to do if you want to move in a totally different direction if you want to relocate change your job whatever you want to do you guys are still relying too heavily on what people think or what information or suggestions they're giving you what spirit is saying is that this cycle of you being codependent and and being willing to sell out to make other people comfortable this cycle of your life is over so you're going to really have to get into formation now of knowing that you're you're in control of everything and right now is the perfect time for you to start challenging the status quo you do not have to conform if you want to make unconventional life choices for yourself that's your business and it's really not that a lot of you are trying to do anything taboo or unconventional. It's simply you're choosing to do what you want to do instead of doing what other people want you to do. You've been very accustomed to living for other people. And that cycle is over. This whole spiritual warfare and battle, this empath, narcissist paradigm, you have to stop letting people suck you dry. Because that's all I'm saying here is the more that you try to get away from people they're trying to suck you in and they're playing a lot of mind games and manipulating you to think that wherever you're trying to go it's not a good path for you it's only so that they can keep a strong hold and grip on you to keep sucking you dry and this is a repetitive karmic cycle here the eight of pentacles is in the reverse so this is saying you're doing something over and over and over and it's not producing results if you get into this cycle once again it's still not going to yield the results that you want there's a need for you to step a uh, step aside okay and you can't you can't there's just a lot of self-doubt here and this could also if this if you know this isn't you this is the energy of someone else being projected onto you there's a very indecisive energy out here someone who just does the same thing over and over again and they just won't stop doing that for some of you this could be your lover that's doing this and that you may just have to let this situation go because as i said at the very beginning some of you you have been trying to keep hope alive about a lover some of you this person they're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle and they're just not going to get out and so it's best for you to be in this nine of pentacles energy where you are self-sufficient abundant on your own you may really have to just leave something or someone behind for some of you there are several people in your life they do not want to change and you're needing to leave it behind no matter how hard it is yeah it's very hurtful when you have to leave people behind but it's like god won't put more on you than what you can bear you're carrying a whole empire on your back you cannot carry that empire on your back and then add everyone else's village to it you're going you're on you're at the brink of collapsing because you're trying to build your own empire but you're worried about all of the village people no let them tend to their own village you build your empire and once your empire is stable and secure and running seamlessly then you go back and you help the village people because if you fall right now 
as that king, queen, that god or goddess that you are, everyone else is going to fall. And that's the problem. Everyone is feeding off of your energy. And I feel like this is with the three of swords here. It's causing you to have a lot of emotional pain. It's almost leading to some type of depression because of all of the heartbreak. And it's like with the ten of swords, the ten of swords is here in the reverse. You're resisting something that's inevitable. Something here is over. Like it's done. There's nothing else that you can do other than to just surrender. Okay. So there's a lot of just overall emotional blockages that I'm I'm picking up here and I think that this is due to the fact that right now we have this new moon energy and you guys are surrounded by a lot of people right now who may just not be a vibrational match for you and you're needing to really protect yourself at this time because this may not be your energy I think that a lot of you you may be um you know in past and you're soaking up the energy of a lot of people around you who just lack self-control and discipline, you know, and there's something beautiful coming in for you. The divine is bringing you a lot of wish fulfillment and happiness, but it's like, God, it's like, well, I can't really bless you while you're surrounded by mess, you know? So you're going to have to allow that pruning phase to take place. You don't have to just throw the flower pot down and crack it and, and let it roll down the street. But you need to pluck some weeds out for sure. Because for some of you, your blessing is sitting right there. But as soon as you get it, you have someone that's waiting to steal it. You know, it's like an Amazon package. You know, you got somebody that's watching your packages that go to your door every day. And you need to be mindful of that. It's time for you to put a camera on your door and see what's going on. It's the same thing with your friends and your family. You need to accept the fact that you have people who are watching your every move to see how exactly can they stop you or sabotage something in your life. You need to be honest with yourself about the, the fact that this was happening. Wow, cutting the deck here. Nothing is yet set in stone. So if you feel like you've been... Um, denied or something has disappointed you nothing is yet set in stone but you have to take action now and look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius we have a new moon in Sagittarius right now but you're needing to have faith in your dreams okay but it is time for you to take action prosperity lies ahead you could be dealing with a Taurus or have Taurus in your chart let's see I see a lot of like family drama a lot of unwanted and unwarranted opinions believe in the impossible yeah some of you you have things that are coming up in your life i'm right now what i'm hearing is for some of you this definitely has a lot to do with a business or some type of large purchase or you wanted to take a leap of faith some of you just want to do things on your own and maybe you've always been the type to kind of lead like depend on other people for advice but what God is trying to show you right now is that all of the power dwells within you. You don't need these people's advice. You don't need anything from them. They need advice from you. You don't need anything from them. So why are you still relying so heavily on their thoughts, their opinions, and their suggestions? You're needing to just take a leap of faith and do what you want to do. But I feel now that you're trying to do that. It's not being well received by the people around you. They want you to it's like people want you to feel like you need to depend on them when in actuality they're dependent on you but it's a toxic cycle of nothing but codependency bring love into this situation and the answers that you need are coming no moon in aquarius and gemini that's a lot of air energy so that has a lot to do with communication gemini also the lovers okay aquarius to me is very like forward thinking also a lot of here about detaching all of these energies to me it's air it's air energy there's something here being hidden about um some type of communication this is a time for healing and it's time to take action new moon in aries yeah and that yeah and look at here full moon in aries a fiery climax approaches so again like i said getting in your mask and energy it's time for you to take action the end of a tough cycle approaches and this is full moon in Capricorn. So after Sagittarius, it's going to be Capricorn season. So, you know, over the next 30 to 45 days, you guys really need to try to focus on clearing things out. We just had this, you know, heavy, heavy Scorpio energy eclipse season. 
a lot of negativity was released and now you're kind of getting the after effects of it where you decided to cut things out and people are really seeing that you're serious about it and you're kind of getting like the, the the blows the highs and lows after making those decisions but you're just gonna have to really stay the course okay people are upset that you're removing your energy and you're removing yourself but that's okay people always get upset about boundaries when they can't use and abuse you anymore so you know don't let that bother you or hinder you. You have to keep pushing forward. But do not allow these energies to manipulate you to going backwards. That's what this is right now. It's very clear that you walked away and detached yourself. People are trying to reel you back in. This definitely could be with family. Some of you are needing to, you know, I don't know when you will hear this message, but... If not this holiday, next holiday, like set set the tone, set boundaries, reach for the stars and kindred souls is here, home sweet home. Some of you guys are for sure going into a union and this is so beautiful. As you really heal your family issues and get out of some of these negative things, it's like you're really going to have a lot of positive changes in your relationships and your friendships. This is the number five kindred souls. You could be experiencing a lot of changes right now. Some good, some bad, okay? But I feel like you're just making space for what you truly, truly need in your life right now. It says your home and family matters require your attention and tender loving care. Yeah, some of you, you need to take more time out for your own family. I feel like you're doing a lot of things outside of your home and tending to other people. Like I said, focus on your empire before going out into the village. And it says reach for the stars. You have barely scratched the surface. You have unlimited potential and you are getting ready to experience this firsthand. Healing cocoon of light. Your angels come to you now and surround you in a healing cocoon made of light. And what you are working on is now divinely guided. Yeah. And here we have five, five, five. So these are big, big changes coming. And here's the number six. It's going to be balanced out here in Sagittarius season. All right. 